Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today's farm update video is a little celebration. Today, one year ago, I published the first video on this channel. So with today's update, I look back at one year of running a tech and mining YouTube channel and end it by giving you some outtakes I've been collecting over the last year. Starting and having the channel is and was a joy for me, I have to tell you. So the first of many thanks to you, ladies and gentlemen. I've loved tech and mining and also cameras and making videos so much that I've made it my job in the past already. The channel gave me the chance to combine all these passions yet again and it kicks me in the butt each and every week to do some something new and to get better at all my crafts, so thank you. I started this channel right in the bear market, but I'm glad I did. Growth has been slow, but it has been steady and that is more than I can ask for. For this I know that each and every one of you who is here is here for the right reasons. So let's still talk about the machines first because this is a farm update. I wanted to downsize a bit now that it's getting warmer, but you know that sentence from me already. But I did, a bit at least. So let's start on the right today, the Octominer. It shrank a bit, 11060 went to a friend of mine. In the last two videos you heard my opinions about reliable computers in combination with crypto. So for a colleague we were also doing a build of which I'll be uploading a video soon. Some more 10 series cards may leave also, but other than that the Octominer is still rocking HiveOS and set on ION. Moving on, I told you that the L3 Plus might be one of the first ASICs to go now, at the end of winter. But I decided to keep it for a bit longer, at least until the next Litecoin halving. If you don't know, the LTC block reward halves every 840,000 blocks. This time it will be from 25 to 12.5 coins. And this will be around August the 7th. Why keep it until then? In the past, we could always see price hikes before halvings. I'd say because of supply and demand. So a cliche crypto tuber sentence, not financial advice, just talking out of my own experience in the past. And I will link a account down below. If you're interested how to tweak and get more out of your L3 Plus, we had a video on Bliss firmware recently. Also, because some of you mentioned that nothing was gained because Bliss has a dev fee, if you look carefully, you can find a dev free version. So let's turn to the AMD rigs. So the mixed rig in the mining room as well as the RX 580 rig still heating my office currently. Both are set on Monero. And here a little reminder, we'll have another fork on March the 9th. So if you are a XMR miner like me, don't forget to update your software. Monero is not the most profitable to mine right now. But you know that I don't care for dollar per day, but rather mine what I like to hold. <laughs> Monero is one of those projects. And yep, I know, I still owe you to finish up the second rig. Sorry about that delay folks. Then we have the last two ASICs in a row. Firstly, the Baikal Giant Plus. This little beast surprises me over and over because yet again it is profitable after more than two years so I still not regret to have kept onto it. Between ASIC miner value and nice hash you can compare a bit but of course this fluctuates but still happy to have kept it. Last of the A6 is the Z9 mini. First I wanted to tell you that it has gone to rank 1 of miners I'll probably sell soon. One reason for this is that I thought that I got all the videos and content out of it that I can but just when writing this very script I have had a call with a friend who got a shout out on the channel once before. Greet Constantine or Crypto MP Miner on Steemit. He was the one with the silent Z9 Mini Noctua setup, but never stopped to work on it. So the maniac is at 13 decibel now. Yep, you heard right, 13 decibel Ant Miner. Even though he pushed this machine to almost max overclock on normal firmware. If you're interested in how to achieve this, I will make a video about this setup if I ever manage to visit him in Germany. I hope to do so some point this year. But just short pointers, if you want to run your ant miners without the original fan, there are fan simulators. So then you can do whatever you like with it. Just an awesome setup. Let me say that again. A 13 decibel ant miner. So I won't talk PCs and CPU mining today because we had lots of content on that. In the Ryzen Switch video, I discuss what the PCs were mining and present a bit of my workflow. By the way, the change was more than necessary. You only recognize these things after the fact. In the USB mining department, the future bit Moonlanders are fine and SDL3 Plus also on LTC. Here, also another video is still upcoming where we'll discuss the Gecko Science new pack. So that's already it with the miners. Last but not least, 
I got some outtakes for you. So another chance to say thank you for enduring my broken English. It were of course many many more, but these were the ones I saved over some cat interruption footage. And also yes, I will think about the giveaway to celebrate as well. And I will update you as soon as I have an idea of something I did not already have before. So thank you again, <laughs> cheers folks, and enjoy. Now just do everything you did before in Reverber. <laughs> It is profitable after more than two years, so I still not regret. <laughs> or nice hash and multiple pr the He was the one with the silent Z9 mini sock to a setup. Sock to a setup. Sock to a setup. I thought it might be interesting to share the. It. Lastly, that we end the video like we end all videos. I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye.